Water contamination isn't just a problem for swimmers and fishermen. A long-term leak from one vinyl chloride plant actually poisoned the groundwater in Mossville, making it the latest of several African-American communities to be forced out by chemical contamination. Some families, like the Fugilets, decided to take their houses with them. The plant offered to buy the residents out. In exchange, they had to sign an agreement promising that if they ever developed health problems linked to groundwater contamination, they would not file suit against the company. For my parents, the vinyl siding was all about affordability and convenience. They didn't know anything about contaminated groundwater or fabricators or angiosarcoma. Like my father said, none of that was written on the box. And to be fair, the box was all my parents had to go on. Back home in Merrick, most of the dangers of vinyl are hard to see and easy to ignore. But there's an old Yiddish saying, if your neighbor's house is on fire, you're also not safe. I like the house better like this, when it was red and made of wood. What I would like you to do is to go around the house with your video camera yeah. and take pictures of the Fakrach in the house, the, the red wood. And then you'll realize that it has to be redone. Yeah, Matt, what does Fakrach mean? Um, rotten. See that? What is it? Rotten wood and it's damp. It didn't even rain today. Come close. Do you see how, it, how soft it is? Squeeze the wood. Press the wood, never mind the video. Ech. Okay. But vinyl, it's not even a natural fiber. It looks so much like wood. What, you just have like little yes. wood things? Oh, yes. you got fake little wood things on it? You got, like, what do you call that, Dad? It's embossed. Embossed. You embossed it with fake wood print. Think of it as, a, as an outer coat. It's threadbare, it's worn. It needs replacement. Everyone assured me vinyl siding was safe and would only let off toxic gas in the rare event of a house fire. But after my experience with DES, I figured any material so loaded with synthetic chemicals had to pose some kind of risk. Later, I asked my dad if he had known that over the course of its life cycle, from the factory to the incinerator, vinyl produces a wide array of deadly pollutants that threaten our future with a global toxic crisis. Would you still have put it on the house? I hope not, honey, he said. But they didn't write that on the box. I wanted to go to the source of my parents' vinyl siding. And since Louisiana produces about a third of North America's PVC, the key ingredient in all vinyl products, there's a good chance it started right here. Lucky for me, I arrived in Lake Charles just in time for Mardi Gras. <laughs> 